All right. Hello everyone, I'm back in um, Nunhead Cemetery again. This is part three of a series of uh, the videos I've been doing about this cemetery. Um, obviously if you've seen part one and two, you, I don't need to tell you about it, but anyway, it's um, in Nunhead, it's a famous cemetery. It's a Gothic style cemetery, I'd call it. Great monuments, very interesting. So I won't go into it in detail because I've done part one and, and two, this is part three, but anyway. I want to set off and show the bits that I didn't show yesterday because I ran out of battery. Anyway, I'm on the learning curve with this. this is, as I say, I only just started doing this vlogging and um, what I'm doing at the moment is a series of um, videos or vlogs about interesting places. You can go and see unusual places off the beaten track maybe, this isn't, but it's in South London. It's a bit unloved in South London sometimes. Um, so, I'm, you know, that's what I'm doing. And I'd really appreciate it if people would leave comments when they look at these videos. If they know of anywhere that's interesting that's off the beaten track in South East London, you know, give us a give us a, um, a flag, flag it up to me and I'll uh, go and film it, film it, you know, so everybody can enjoy it. Anyway, I'm doing this anyway to get out of the house today. It's um, a lot of people probably feeling a bit frightened at this moment with the pandemic and everything. You know, I know life has to go on. And if you're stuck indoors, you can't go out, then the likes of me and people like me will be doing this stuff. Maybe give you something interesting to watch, I hope. <laughs> you know, cheer you up a little bit. Uh, I enjoy it, it keeps me fit. And hopefully you will. But anyway, I'll carry on. Instead of blabbering away, I'll start showing you some stuff. Some of these monuments that I didn't show yesterday. I wanted to go and show you the Admiral's Lord Admiral's um, big monument. I'm going to show you it now. This is the church again. I should have been facing it really. I don't know how they got the crane out today. But anyway, let's go. I don't know if I've got this as good settings like as I hope so. Let's go. I don't really want to be looking up my nose, do you really? <laughs> I'll tell you what, this makes you self-conscious of all the things you do, the little twit, you know, the little ticks and the, the snuffling and the cut you got to kind of, it's very good actually. And the way you speak, you have to kind of listen to it back and think, crikey, that doesn't sound very good. They won't be able to understand what I'm saying. Slow your speech down, pronounce your words properly. So it's quite good for me actually, because people always tell me I, I speak too quickly. But anyway, let's get on with the business in hand. Let's have a look at this one. Right, I'll look around there. Okay. Hopefully this is a lovely day actually. It's, like a, it's not even cold today, it's beautiful. It's uh, March the 17th. Um, did I go that way yesterday? The thing is yesterday it was um, still wet. And uh, we had a bit of flooding, didn't we? Um, over the last month or so it's been so wet. One of the paths that I wanted to go down, I couldn't go down. So I'm wondering whether to go down there, which is ahead or down there. Because I think the big monument, I'm not sure, I think it's along here. We'll try anyway, let's see what happens. Come along with me, we'll have a little walk. Vicariously or whatever you want to call it. Oh, no. Hang on, that's fell down. Now this is it, is this it? That's one of them. Some of these monuments here. It's not macabre, this is like, I hope you don't find some macabre, I don't know, I think it's interesting. Uh, because it's so unusual, the cemetery, it's not your everyday, you know, it's old, it's the like 18th century. I think it was 1840 they said it opened. I think some of these grey stones I've seen, I'm sure they were before that. Oh, that one there's 1875. It's big and here, look. That's what I mean, it's just very interesting. I find it interesting. Not, it's not a macabre graveyard, I don't think. Like, well, apart from the fact I can imagine them making a... They do actually film here quite a lot, up by the church there. They have, I have seen them doing some, some sort of a gothic type filming, you know, where they have the horse and carts and the black and everything, and it's like one of those Hammer House of Horror films. I think they do film that stuff around here. You can see why. It's perfect for it. But it's a great place to walk your dog and just to get fit. If you're ever over this way, as I say, it's Nunhead, Peckham, SE15, South East London. It's easy to get to, you get to Peckham Rye and then, um, you can jump, uh, jump. You can walk down this way. Oh, right. Well, uh, 
Oh, where's that? Oh, I can't go down that way. I saw where I went yesterday. Let's walk down this way. Let's see what's happening. Yeah. Cool. What's this monument? I don't know. If they, it seems to have changed. It's like, I'm sure they, they've cleared it a bit. It's not the same as it was. Try and be respectful, that's why I'm not really talking too loud, so it might be a bit quiet on the audio. I'm hoping it's going to be all right. Being that's a graveyard, um, it's a shame that so many of them are derelict, really, you know. But there's, there's a say they're like 200 years old, some of them nearly. Look at this one 1902. Wow, it seems to be a little, I don't know, it's, it's almost like they've cleared some of them, there used to be a lot more, I hope not. That's a great thing to do, jogging along, oh, it's still a bit wet. <clears throat> so my dog used to love this. Oh my god, it's muddy here, look, be careful. You guys getting fit? Good luck to them. That's what I used to do. Yeah, you know, I was listening to um, a guy online talking about this um, virus and everything, and the best way to protect yourself. And I mean, I know I've heard everybody says wash your hands and everything else. Well, this doctor's an American guy, and he said it's the airborne particles. You can't catch it just by it being in the air, being breathing air that there's no one around. They have to cough. And that's why they want you to be a meter away because the droplets come out of the mouth and it will fall down. But obviously if someone coughs on you or sneezes on you, and that's, and that's really bad. But um, also, they're getting, if they're thinking about it, they're probably going to get a virus for it, um, anti-vaccine for it in America. They're talking about it, they're working on one. But he said also that, um, yeah, obviously you wash your hands as much as you can. And like, the hardest thing for most people, we don't realise we're doing it, is touching our face and everything. Because that's how it gets into your, um, it'll find a way in, you know, like for your, if you touch your nose or your lips or your, your eyes, it's an opening for the virus to get in. And that's when you can be, have problems, you know. But it was saying if you, uh, you know, you become really conscious of washing your hands every time you touch anything. Um, you've got the gel for your hands, obviously. And you can get these wipes, can't you? Domestos wipes or whatever they are. I'm going to buy some. If you're in somewhere where there's a surface, you're not sure about it, you can wipe it. Apparently plastic, it will last a bit longer on plastic. And cardboard, it doesn't last very long. Doors, it can last quite a while on it, apparently. But it's hard, that's why they want you to keep distance, because it doesn't really... Someone's, you've got to be in prolonged contact with somebody, that's what they said. No, I don't like to, you know, don't quote me on it. But, um... Yeah, so that was what they said, and hopefully that, you know... Well, we just got to be careful, haven't we? Use our common sense. You, know, you don't want, the last thing you want to do is get it and pass it on to somebody else even if you're younger and you're strong you still got to be you know wise about it and not give it to someone else especially if it was your grandparents or something you'd be absolutely devastated anyway enough of that anyway that's not a dwell on it okay now this is a I think obviously they've been they have done some work sometimes it, it used to look more um 